Hey! Happy Halloween, guys! This is Dreambush. Today I'm going to be drawing uh, from the theme of King Pumpkin from our Artist Motivation Discord group, which I'll have a link to in the description if you want to come talk about art with us. I had a lot of trouble with this with this drawing because I, I didn't get a clear concept from the beginning. I thought that I had a clear concept and I actually went through with line art for this concept. I didn't realize it wasn't going to work out until I was pretty far in the stages and I had to rework a whole bunch. So it started out, the idea was like little pumpkins giving the big, big pumpkin their candles. It was like, oh, how do jack-o'-lanterns die? Basically, they give their, their candles to the, the king pumpkin. Uh, that concept was kind of not working out in my head. Uh, it wasn't working out on paper how it was in my head. Then I made it into houses. So it would be like uh, the, the king pumpkin was scaring the houses or something. And that didn't work very well because uh, the cul-de-sac that I was drawing looked kind of like a tongue. It wasn't very... Um, it didn't it didn't look right to me so I ended up settling on just one house <laughs> one house that the king pumpkin is looming over and I think that makes for a better story in a way because there's a main character and uh, sort of like a villain potentially I mean I don't know if he's if the king pumpkin is gonna eat the house or not but I guess that's kind of the idea I had to do a whole lot of reworking, but I was pretty determined that <laughs> that I was going to finish this drawing anyway. And in the end, I'm I'm happy enough with it. I also did a, a couple of color mock-ups so that I could kind of get an idea if it was going to be very colorful or if there was going to be a little more limited color palette. I ended up choosing the more limited color palette because I felt like it was a little more Halloween-ish, Halloween-y, and I liked that a little darker too. Once upon a time, there was a young girl, maybe seven years old, six or seven, and she looks out the front door and it's nighttime, it's dark, she can see stars in the sky, and... She looks uh, up and down the street of her neighborhood and there's street lights, there's house lights, and uh, tons of children running around in groups and they're all dressed up in all kinds of strange costumes and running around giggling and collecting candy and generally having a great time. And that little girl was me watching from my house <laughs> this was in Ohio this was when I lived in Ohio as a child and my mom like she didn't want us to go tr trick-or-treating she didn't want me and my younger brother to go trick-or-treating because there was like uh, I don't know she was uh, afraid of uh, she was afraid that it was evil um, or that it was bad and somehow gonna corrupt us. <laughs> um, Halloween didn't corrupt me. Lots of other stuff did. <laughs> but Halloween was not what corrupted me. <laughs> uh, anyway. I did get to trick or treat later when we moved to Florida and I was a little older. Um, I guess some of that fear had passed or Maybe it was the influence of other family members, I'm not really sure, but we did get to dress up. I remember I was the pink Power Ranger one year, my brother was, mm, I think he was the red Power Ranger, and I think that might have been our first trick-or-treating Halloween, I'm not sure, it's very hard to remember, I'm so old now. <laughs> Halloween is absolutely my most favorite holiday. I hope that everyone out there has a uh, fun and safe Halloween this year. Alright, thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos,
please like, subscribe, follow, and I'll see you again next time. Bye!